Today we're talking about Kanye West, 5G, Zac Efron, and more. Welcome to our new Ibelvitch show where we'll keep you in the loop with the six of the most trendy, newsworthy stories of the day. We've got a surge in coronavirus cases amidst the 4th of July weekend in Texas and Florida reporting almost 20,000 new cases. Now that the number of infections in Texas is up 192,000, Governor Greg Abbott has required individuals to wear face masks in public. Don't be a repeat offender or you'll be fined up to 250 bucks. Meanwhile, Florida is a major hotspot as it now covers roughly 20% of new U.S. cases reaching more than 200,000. Despite the spike, Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis says he still will not order businesses to close and also refuses to order a statewide mask mandate. I guess Florida really likes being a COVID hotspot. Is Kanye West serious about running for president? His tweet on Saturday stated, I am running for president, hashtag 2020 vision, went viral with more than 100,000 retweets in one hour, has everyone scratching their heads wondering if he is serious or trolling. One of the bigger responses came from Elon Musk as he tweeted his full support for Kanye. It might not matter though, since it's too late for him to file as an independent candidate in six states already. Looks like Kanye is living up to his late registration album name and it doesn't appear that he has registered with the Federal Election Committee either. Hamilton won its audience over this weekend after being released on Disney Plus way earlier than planned. The award-winning Broadway show wasn't supposed to be released until October 2021, although Disney waved its magic wand yet again to help entertain those isolated due to the pandemic. The oh-so-famous Madeira dessert wine Hamilton likely toasted at the declaration signing has also been trending, so much so that even a cookbook is in the works. Break an Egg, the Broadway cookbook, will feature recipes from over 50 musicals. What should we expect from the second phase of 5G? According to Qualcomm VP of Engineering John Smee, the game changers this time around are its unlicensed spectrum that enables greater access to a wider variety of service providers. Another perk is Qualcomm's Wake Up Signal WUS that will help save energy by preventing receivers from continuously checking for signal and draining battery life. In a nutshell, the second phase of 5G will contain significant power saving upgrades but will take years to complete. Room service is getting an upgrade. Hotels are doing everything they can to make guests feel safe, which means you can now get wine delivered to your room by a robot named Rosé. The innovative robotic butler offers a touchless experience when delivering wine to your room. Rosé can do more than just deliver wine. It can also deliver snacks, toiletries, and many other things. Hotel Trio in Heldsburg, California is the first hotel to incorporate Rosé. What I'm really wondering though is when can I get one of those in my home? Zac Efron can do it all. From high school musicals to neighbors to Baywatch, he's now taken it to the next level by hosting a new Netflix docuseries called Down to Earth. The Hollywood actor will be taking viewers on a journey to learn about sustainable living from eco-innovators in multiple countries like London, Peru, Iceland, and more. Zac says, we're traveling around the world to find some new perspective on some very old problems. The docuseries will be available to watch on Netflix starting July 10th. Thank you for tapping into the daily news with me. Remember, you can now post your very own videos onto our platform. I invite you to showcase your passions, gain a new audience, dive into a new interest, be current, and start trends. Thanks for tuning into Ibble Bits, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.